The toolbar appears across the top of the graph. As the cursor hovers over each icon, a hint appears. Some icons have dual functions, depending on whether you press the left mouse key or the right mouse key, as indicated by the slash in the hint line. These are the data cursor movement icons. If I drop a green data cursor on the graph by right-clicking, I can move the data cursor. If I right-click on the icon, it'll seek to the peak in the direction that I select. The next icon allows you quick access to the file save The dark light bulb is the save dark spectrum. Or if you right click, it'll zero the dark array. If I turn off the mercury argon spectrum lamp, I can now take a dark, which will automatically subtract. Or if I right click, I can clear the dark. The yellow light bulb allows you to save a reference spectrum. <clears throat> this is normally done when you're setting up for the absorption, transmission, or reflectance modes. The next icon allows you to quickly print a graph to your system printer. The next icon is the snapshot icon. It looks like a small camera. If you right click it, it will copy the graph to a clipboard for easy access to other Windows programs to read the graph. The Z icon allows X zooming and XY zooming. Information is provided when you select this icon. The up and down arrow allows you to scale and rescale the y-axis. For example, if I zoom in on the mercury doublet, I can then zoom in on the y-scale by left-clicking. If I right-click, I can unzoom that. The next icon is the Compute Area and Centroid. If I left-click, I'll get a display that shows the centroid peak wavelength, full width half max of this peak, the centroid base, and the area power spectral density. On the setup menu, I can select how this icon reacts so that it'll auto find next peak or perhaps continuous. In continuous mode, it continually evaluates and reruns. For example, if I increase the detector integration time, I can see the effects of the area PSD increase due to the area under this peak being changed by the longer integration time. I can disable the feature for the action for the peak area icon from continuous back to snapshot. The next icon is the auto time. This allows you to save the highest possible reference spectrum when you're about to save a reference spectrum. The setup procedure automatically increases the detector integration time so that it's not saturated yet it's at its highest point. We'll demonstrate this icon at a later time. The detector integration is controlled, of course, by the slide bar. Let's have a closer look at the zoom function. If I want to enable the Y zoom feature, I right click on the Z. This allows me to draw a box around the area that I only wish to see. And as you can see, the y-axis is now offset by some value. 
To unzoom, I simply click to the left side of the graph. I can quickly go back to the area that I was located in by making a selection again. But lo and behold, I'm clipped at the top and clipped at the bottom. That's because I have Y zoom enabled, which is indicated in the status line below. If I left click again on the Z button to disable it, I can then unzoom and then resume without a Y effect 